This is Paul McKenna for PT Box and I'm here today in uh, Canary Wharf in London with me, Luke Campbell. How are you mate, okay? Yeah, good mate, are you? I'm fine. Uh, here today for the press conference Saturday night yeah. uh, at the O2 Arena. Sold out. Uh, you're on the card taking on Mendy. He's yeah. a tough kid. Uh, it's yeah. definitely a tough fight and um, you know, quite potentially one of your toughest fights, if not your toughest fight to date, Luke. So yeah, I'd, I'd probably say it's my toughest fight to date. Yeah. Um, you know, not not um, discrediting any of the fights I've been in, but I believe he's just mixed it at that higher level than what, what the rest of them have. Yeah, um, it's definitely a step up, but these are the type of fights that I need. These are the type of step ups that, that I yeah, want. Yeah. You know, these are the fights that I need to get to the top. So yeah. um, I need to go out there on Saturday, perform, put a great show on, and do the business. Yeah. And then look at taking another step up, but you know I'm not looking at anything else but Saturday. That's it. Last time I spoke to you was uh, back in Hull when you uh, were victorious over uh, Tommy Coyle. Um, that was a great night. So uh, yeah. I think 12,000 in an outdoor uh, stadium. So I think 17, 18,000 sellout crowd. If you all see the atmosphere is going to be electric. The more the merrier for me. I yeah. love it. The more people, the better. Mm. Um, I thrive off the more people. Yeah. Um, yeah, I five after more people. Mm. It puts pressure on other people, or the more people that are there. Yeah. For me, it's the opposite. Mm. I, I want more people there. Yeah. This is what this is what being in boxing is all about. Of being course. on big shows like this and entertaining in front of thousands of people. Mm. Well, obviously, uh, in the lightweight division, as you quite rightly said, up on the top table, it, it's if not one of the best. Uh, divisions definitely in the UK, yeah. the lightweight division. I don't, I don't think there's another weight out there that's better than the lightweight division. Mm. You, you know, we've got two world champions mm. from Britain, um, we've got another one that's that uh, wants to fight for one of the titles, mm. Kevin Mitchell. Yeah, um, Terry, who's taking on Terry Matthews. Terry, as well, taking on Terry, all great fighters, and I'm excited to, to get in the mix. Mm. That's it, that, that, you know, as Eddie um, said on, on, on the table up there, it, there's, there's so many massive fights out there to make in the lightweight division and obviously you must be thinking obviously you can't look past anyone but you must be thinking 2016 2017 there's going to be some huge fights and sell out maybe even uh, you know Wembley yeah you, you, you never know I mean um, I've got to go out there and, and do my bit yeah. put on a great show for the crowd for the fans you know and, and if the other fighters are doing the same thing then it's going to make a big collision that's it obviously a uh, headline in the Saturday night Joshua against White I know you're good friends with Joshua, obviously you yeah. were uh, in the Olympics and stuff yeah. and uh, Team GB and I know your friends outside the boxing as well, so um, as a fan's point of view, how do you see it going? Um, as I just I just see it going Joshua within four rounds. Yeah? Yeah, I think Joshua's going to knock him out in four rounds. Um, bringing up things what happened five to seven years ago is, is, is irrelevant. Mm. Um, I, you know, I rate Dylan, I think yeah. he's, I think he's a, He's a good fighter and he's proved himself as unbeaten. Yeah. I just believe Joshua's in a different league to him now. Yeah. Um, you know, no, no, not discrediting Dylan. Like I say, I think even if it doesn't matter who wins or loses in this, I think mm. they can both go on and still still be champions yeah. and, and whatever else. But I just believe Joshua is going to get him out there in four rounds. Okay, mate. Well, we uh, we certainly look forward to Saturday night. Look forward to seeing yourself and the rest of the boys. So uh, thanks yeah. a lot for your time today, Luke. Best of luck Saturday. We'll speak to you soon. Cheers, mate. Thank thanks. you.